Hello everybody and welcome to another attempt of creating refractory crucibles. These ones have been drying for over a month in this paper bag on a wooden board and structurally they are very good except several crevices which I used vinegar to fix. Also I forgot to remove the paper from the wooden board which got stuck to the crucibles but it shouldn't be a problem. I've placed them in the oven for 50 degrees Celsius for the duration of several hours so I could cure the clay and prepare it for firing. After the low temperature drying cycle the crucibles became very pale and as all water has evaporated they became warm to the touch at room temperature. They were not endothermic anymore. Upon further inspection I saw literally no cracks and vinegar crack filling has been successful. After drying I have to fire the clay and I do that using the same technique. So I fill it with woody matter and some coal and wrap it in several layers of printer paper. The fuel of choice for this firing occasion are RUF pressed sawdust logs. In order to maintain even heating of the crucible seen very dark here, I would just have to rearrange the coals every now and then. Also, the light exposure settings on this GoPro cam don't do this wood stove justice because what you see here as plain white is actually very very hot and very UV intense. It's hard to look at. After half a day of heating I have decided to let everything burn out and remove the crucible from the wood stove. Even with this leather gloves, very thick by the way, the crucible was very very hot to the touch. I had to hurry up. And voila! A fully fired crucible with two minor cracks. It's an easy fix and I believe it happened due to the difference in wall thickness. Judging by the sound it makes, it's a successful attempt, so please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.